What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusero Fitness and we're outside in the middle of November with a cut sleeve t-shirt. Weird, but it got into the 60s today so I'm taking advantage of the nice weather. Anyway, I want to quickly do a video on loose skin. The reason I say quickly is because I don't have enough evidence to really give you and also this is going to be something that is based on every individual. It's going to be different for each person, so I can't give you an answer to the question such as how long will it take my skin to tighten up? Will it ever go away? Will it ever go back to normal? I can't just tell you, oh, wait one year and it will be perfect because I'd be lying to you. I don't do that on this channel. I keep it as real as possible. So what's really important is understanding the difference between loose skin and fat. If you could pinch a lot of it, there's definitely fat under that skin, so you may just have to diet down longer. But you'll know if you have loose skin, believe me. And this normally comes from people who lose an excess of weight, people who were overweight or maybe even obese and they have this weight loss journey and they end up losing a ton of weight too quickly. So they also lost muscle with that as well. Their body composition changed very quickly and their skin was not able to adjust to that change. You have to understand that the skin is not just a piece of rubber wrapped around your body. It is a living, organ so it will adjust to changes in your body but it can't adapt that quickly if you've had a weight loss like 50 plus 100 something pounds in a short period of time so you're looking for the answer to the question how long will it take it's going come on wind I'm trying to do a video Shit. Um, it's it's going to be based on genetics that's going to be a huge role in this your age, the older you get, the less elastic your skin is going to become. So you want to know the answer to the question of how do you stop loose skin from happening if you're in a weight loss journey right now? Make it a very, very slow process. Don't rush the weight loss. Yes, I know it sucks. You want to lose weight as quick as possible. We all want quick results, but there's going to be a downside to that if you do that. So what I really strongly recommend is if you are on a weight loss journey, make sure you're strength training you're lifting weights, you're trying to build muscle, that is going to help you fill the skin out. And I know it's hard to lose weight and gain muscle at the same time, but strength training is going to help largely. There are probably, if you Googled, how do I get rid of loose skin, you've seen supplements and skin firming lotions and bath salts that will help your skin. I have no idea if they work. I've never used them myself, so I'm not gonna go and recommend them to you. If you wanna try it out, you can do so. If those of you who have had a weight loss journey have had severe loose skin and it's tightened up and you want to leave a comment down below and let us know how you dealt with that or how long it took just to give some people you know, an idea of what it was like for you, feel free to do so. I'm sure a lot of people will benefit from that. But all I can really say is I have no idea how long it's going to take your skin to tighten up. But what I'll do is I'll throw a picture on the screen so you get an idea of what loose skin looks like. I had a weight loss journey myself. I lost around 50 pounds and if you look on my lower stomach you're gonna see the skin was wrinkled up a little bit that is what loose skin looks like yes there was still some excess fat there that I could have lost and that's the problem a lot of people underestimate their body fat percentage they think they're 10 percent when they're really 15 or they think they're 15 when they're really 25 and then they immediately blame it on loose skin when really they just have excess fat to lose it's just something that you have to be patient with what I want to say, and it sucks, and I hate saying it, and it's unfortunate, but if you've had a severe weight loss, if you were obese and you lost a lot of weight, you may need surgery to tighten that skin back up or lift the skin, uh, abdominoplasty, and I know it sucks, but that's something that you have to decide on yourself. It may tighten up. It may take years. If you have the patience for it, I mean, you should already be happy with your weight loss success and the journey and what it took to get there and your hard work. So be proud of that first and don't look at the loose skin as a negative thing. I mean, there may have been smarter ways to lose the weight. You could have done it more gradually, but again, you know how I am. Don't focus on the what ifs and the I coulda or I shoulda, all that bullshit. Just be happy with what you did and understand that everything takes time. So that's pretty much the only answer I can give. And that's really it. I hope I answered some of your questions. If you have any more, just leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Until next time, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video.